Hey there, Olive Church. It's good to connect with you. Hey, I just I just wanted to come back to uh, the space that we we talked about uh, this past week. Um, this proclamation that Jesus Christ is Lord it just keeps coming up for me this week, and I, I just wanted to touch base and step back into that for a second. You know, we we talked about this God who. Um, created everything out of nothing, right? Just through the whisper and the sound of his voice. And that same God with that same power is right here. When we believe in Jesus, when we believe in uh, in his coming as a baby, which we're getting ready to celebrate with Christmas uh, and his life and his teachings and his death and his resurrection that created this salvation for us. Uh, when we believe in this, Um, He moves in and that same power that created the universe is in us. And when we believe this and, 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 and Jesus goes on uh, to say, and and Paul would say it in the other new Testament writers would say it, uh, proclaim this with your mouths. Uh, When we believe this in our hearts and proclaim this with our mouths, um, then we are the people of God. Uh, and we get, we are heirs of his, we get his inheritance. Uh, and, you know, it's too easy for us just to stop at that believing part and not really proclaim it. So I want you all to stop right now, whether you're at home and on alone and you're like, no, it's silly. I don't have to do this right here. No, say it. Say, Jesus Christ is Lord. Believe it. Say it. Say it like you mean it. Uh, if you're somewhere in public, if you're at work, uh, at school, the library, coffee shop, uh, your, 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 the office, whatever. Um, stop right now and say it. Well, somebody might hear me. Who cares? That's the whole point, right? Say it. Uh, Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the Lord of my life. The power of him who created this universe is living in me. Is this power is in me? Doesn't matter what I'm going through, what I'm struggling with. You know, I'm <laughs> personally I'm having a rough start to the week right now myself, and so this is this is for me. I have to proclaim this myself. Jesus Christ is Lord, and you know, if you're in public, say it right now. Say it out loud so that somebody else will hear it. Uh, and you might say, well, somebody else might hear it. That's right. Uh, that's part of our job, that other people know, that we know that Jesus Christ is Lord. So just take a moment, whatever uh, this might be for you. Uh, I don't know. This is just something that I felt like I needed to share. This is so important for us. We don't do it enough. We hide this fact from people. Um, Jesus Christ is Lord. Say it. Believe it, proclaim it uh, over your life, whatever you're at, whatever how, whatever kind of life you're in, um, say it, it's true, um, hold on to that, uh, and this power of God in you uh, will do wonderful things. It may not mean everything right now will go away, uh, it may not mean uh, the, the struggles will just disappear, um, but when we say it, we hold on to that hope of our better future in God, that God has a better future for us. And then we can have peace. Even when we're having a struggle week, um, a tough week, we can have peace. And with this peace comes what we're talking about this next week in joy. Um, But it all starts with this believing in God and proclaiming it. So let's proclaim it. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen.